Hey guys, Mander Brooks here back for a brand new video today, and today we will be reviewing the Razor Crest Micro Fighter. And this is set number is for six plus. Only six plus, just joking. You can have it at any age you want. I'm eleven and I'm and I have a six. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna have it at any age. This doesn't really matter, but besides that, it says number seven five three two one. Again, Razor Crest Micro Fighter has ninety eight pieces. Got that new slick box art um like the background they have too but in this segment i think the razor cards gets destroyed in this part so i don't know why they have it coming out of here so it's kind of weird but the back of the box it's nothing different just as that mandalorian look in the next thing made for two the mandalorian and yeah let's get into the review and starting off with mando himself we have a really nice Mandalorian minifigure. Again, in his best car armor. It's clean more available, and he has the brown under him. Um, in the box, he can look like he's really light colored for this armor, but he's like kind of a dark brown, same as always. But he has the helmet again, and nothing under there. No Pedro Pascal, but um, or whatever his name is, I forgot the name of that. I can't think it's Pedro Pascal, but he got that little gun there. The printing of that's on the legs and everything in the body, same as always. Got the arm printing, which looks pretty sweet too. Back printing there is, but he has a jetpack on it. I think it's a nice inclusion too. And he has the same legs, everything. He's a really nice minifigure overall. Um, He can get him in other sets, but I just think it's a nice minifigure overall just to get in general. To have it, yeah, that's it for this minifigure. Here's the boat itself. It's a really nice build. The only thing I don't like about this is the um, cannons that they have on the side, which make it look kind of chubby, but overall, it's a really nice blade. It's very swooshable, got that landing gear. Um, You can put a little thing, whatever you want in there. Mando fits in there perfectly, pretty much. You see, he's pretty swooshable. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. In there, but... He's probably you can just connect him to the studs. And yeah, now he'll fly around. He has good and the engines are nice too. With the landing gear. The studs shoot. And I lost some boats, but I can put some refills in. For that and um yeah, that's it for um Oh, hold on. That's not it. Like, the video's not over, but, um, it's kind of a nice build. I like the techniques they use. It's not that hard to build. I wouldn't use the stock and stuff or with the bike or something, but it has that control panel. Manda fits in there perfectly. Their design and greebling is just really nice on here. Engines are a perfect design. I just think this is a really good micro fighter. I just wish, because last year was supposed to make a Slave 1 one, but I thought they would, I wanted them to make it along with this one this year. And so they make it like Book of Bubble Fat or something. Or Mandalorian to have it, to have it like, kind of part with it. Or the one ship, um, which I have a picture of the screen on, on the screen right now. Um, it had, it's really nice. And, um, that's just that microphone for that too, mainly the one in the, in March, but yeah, that's it for today's video. I mean, the today's third video, not it's not gonna be the last, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.